Have you ever wondered if it's possible to create an AI influencer which runs around on Instagram all day long, messages your ideal target audience, and books calls with them on autopilot? Well, if this sounds like a dream to you, it's actually a reality in 2024, and it's something that we specialize in. And today, I'm gonna be showing you how to create an AI influencer which does just that and fills up your calendar with qualified leads and clients on autopilot. I'm gonna be walking you through the process from A to Z, including setting up the profile, creating the AI, which is going to be closing the leads, as well as setting up the outreach using AutoEye GDM. By the end of this video, you will have your own AI influencer, which can be selling for you 24 seven. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Throughout this video, I'm going to be walking through this Google docs, and I'm going to be showing you a ton of stuff, including things that you need to set up and more. Now, this may be overwhelming for you, but don't worry. If you go to our free school community at school.com slash you will be able to find this document along with all the resources and links and guides that I mentioned in this video over there so that you can go through that process at your own pace while watching this video. The first thing we are going to start off with is setting up an AI influencer. That is obviously the first step. We are going to need an Instagram account which looks real and which we can promote our services with. Now, the first thing I would tell you guys before I walk you through buying an account, setting up a fake account, buying followers, Followers, all that. I'm going to show you how to do all of that in just a second. But if you are a small agency and you want to do this with only a couple of accounts, it might make sense to just make a second profile of yourself. So if you already have your personal account right now, you can just make a second account, which is also your account and has your pictures on it. So that way it's a much easier setup. Just make a new profile, name it the same, put pictures on there, and then use that account for the strategy. In that case, you could actually stick, skip this process of setting up an account. But if you don't want to do that, I will walk you through that whole entire process right now. So first things first, we need to buy or create an account. Now, I personally don't recommend creating an account because a brand new account has a higher likelihood of getting banned by Instagram and more. What I would recommend you to do is to buy an account. Now, the recommended source for this is Accounts Market. As I said, if you join the school community, you will find the link there as well as you will also find some links in the description. But AccountsMarket.com is where you can find aged accounts. Once you visit AccountsMarket.com, you're going to be on this page. All you need to do is select the category, go to Instagram, select aged and go ahead and buy some aged accounts. What you can also do is go and select with followers. This will be accounts which already have some followers on them. You can play around with some vendors, but just go ahead and buy some. As you can see, the prices are super cheap. Link for this will be down below in the description. Now, while our goal on this channel is to give out all this information for free, I just wanted to note really quick that we actually specialize in setting up systems just like this one for our clients. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and visit omnifusion.ai and book a call to find out more. And once you've bought an account or set up your own or used your own pictures and made an account that way, you are going to have to find a way to actually log into these accounts. Now, if it's just a single account, or if you want to do this with one, two accounts, you can just use your phone and log into those accounts on your phone. Now, important to note is that there should be no more than five accounts on your phone linked to your IP address. So if you only have your personal account, and maybe a business account on there and you're looking to make one AI influencer, then using your phone and logging in there will be just fine. If you're looking to scale it up or you don't want to connect this with your personal IP address, you're going to have to use hide my account as well as proxies. However, if you're looking to do this with multiple accounts or you don't want to connect it to your IP address, you're going to have to use hide my account as well as proxies. Now, hide my account is a tool which allows you to open a ton of different browser windows and connect these browser windows with a unique IP address, which is a proxy. Hide My Account actually comes with a seven day free trial and you find it at hidemyaccount.com. I've also put the link down below in the description. All you need to do is sign up and follow their tutorials to set up your own browser profile. The next step is going to be to buy a proxy and you can do that at proxysale.com. Link is once again down below in the description and here you can buy in my recommendation, I would say a residential IP and you can buy this IP address, which is then going to be used in order for you to log into your Instagram account. So once you've set up Hide My Account, set up the browser profiles and connected your proxies, the next step is going to be to actually 
profile your Instagram account, change the bio, change the name to make sure that it is a high quality Instagram profile. So in order to give you an idea what an account like this can look like, I'm going to show you a profile that we have made for a client. So this is an account that we set up for a client. As you can see, it is really important that the account looks real. There's pictures of a real person in there as well as a bio, which makes it look legit. The next thing that you can do if you want to go the additional mile, which is something that we are going to start doing very soon as well, is to add stories and highlights, which makes it look much more real as well. So now that you've seen what it looks like, let's walk through the things that you need to edit for your account. You need to think of a real name, a username, as well as a bio. This is the easy part. You can be creative with it. As long as it looks real, you're going to be fine. The second part is going to be to post pictures. Now there's a couple different options here. You can go with AI generated images. There's a ton of tutorials for this on YouTube. However, they need to be hyper realistic and super real. Nobody should be able to tell that it's an AI generated image because if they can, they won't respond. It needs to be a hundred percent real. And the alternative options are to find images off of Google or off of other Instagram accounts. And I'm not personally recommending that. So do it at your own risk. The final thing you're going to have to do in order to make your account look real is buy followers, likes, and comments. Now it depends a lot on which niche you're in, but usually in terms of followers, what I like to recommend people is to get either a couple hundred. So between four to 800 followers or a couple thousand. So between one to 3000, make sure that it's not a round number and you can buy followers, likes, and comments on a panel called just another panel. If you search for that, you will find it very quickly. And I would recommend buying the followers, the likes, and the comments on just another panel. You can find the link in our school as well in the section in the classroom where, where this video will be. And essentially just another panel is just a social media panel where you can buy followers, likes, and comments. Now, once you have your profile set up with real posts, with a good name, a bio, and you bought some followers, likes, and comments to make the account more engaged, the next thing we're going to work on is setting up the AI DM automation. So let me show you guys an example of the conversation that the AI had on our behalf with a lead who we wanted to close on our AI services. And this actually ended up with a call being booked with our team to discuss the potential of implementing AI in their business. Now we reached out to her and said, hi, Amber, can you let me know more about your products and services? She then responded and gave us more information on the products and services. We then said, wow, those services sound super valuable. By the way, I'm actually an AI that reached out to you automatically and is now having this conversation on behalf of the real me. She then said, interesting. Yes, I would be interested if it sounded real and authentic. Tell me more. We went through the conversation. She said, yes, she's looking to scale her outreach and client base right now. We then said, great. Uh, what's your current monthly revenue? Since that is something that we do ask people, she said it ranges from seven to 10,000 Australian dollars. And we said that's a solid range and ended up sending her the calendar link. Now we actually have changed the AI since then. And we do conversational calendar booking, meaning that we would just be like, great, where are you based? Let's set up a call. And then we, the AI goes ahead and figures out the time over conversation. But as you can see, this is how one of these conversations can go. So in order to set up the AI, which is going to be closing people in DMs, you're going to have to use voice flow and many chat. Now I've made a ton of videos on the entire setup for this. So all you need to do is go ahead and access the templates from our free community, which is school.com slash omnifusion. I'm going to walk you through it right now. So once you join the community up here in the classroom, you're going to be able to find a ton of things. And here you're going to find two things, book appointments with an Instagram AI chatbot. And in here, you're going to find everything you need, including the voice flow template download, as well as the many chat template download. You're also going to be able to watch this video right here to be walked through the entire setup from A to Z so that you know how to set up voice flow and many chat completely. I'm going to be speed running it in this video. So just that, you know, you can find everything right here. And once you've downloaded those templates and you've signed up to voice flow and many chat inside of voice flow, all you need to do is click this button up here to import the voice flow file. And in many chat, all you need to do is click the link and import it into your many chat account. And it's going to happen automatically for you. So the next thing you're going to need to do is customize the templates, which means that you need to adjust the prompts and the knowledge base if needed inside of the voice flow chatbot, as well as connect voice flow with many chat. Now, as I said, I've covered this before, so I'm not going to be covering it again in this video inside of the school community in the classroom. You can find the full tutorial right here where I integrated into many chat as well. So everything from A to Z on setting up the template and more is covered right here. And finally, once you've done all that, you're going to have to complete and test the setup, which means that you need to 
publish the setup and actually test it live inside of Instagram DMs. Now this part is only for the AI. So this has nothing to do with the outreach whatsoever, but it's once somebody replies. So now that you've seen how one of these conversations can go and how successful it can be, and I've showed you where you can find the voice flow templates and many chat templates to get your own AI set up, we are going to be talking about the part of automated DM outreach. How are you going to be reaching out to these people since voice flow and many chat only handles incoming messages? We need to find a way to automate the outgoing message. Now, first things first, sign up for a free trial at autoigdm.com. That is the automated outreach tool that we have built. It's a Chrome extension with human emulation, meaning that the risk of you getting banned is zero. We have never had a client getting their account banned when using autoigdm. And this is going to allow you to reach out to 50 people every single day from your account. Next thing you're going to have to do is find your ideal target audience. Now, what I recommend people to do in terms of finding their target audience is to go to their, their competitors accounts and target the people who engage with those competitor profiles. Those are usually going to be your best bet when it comes to high quality leads. Now, in terms of crafting outreach messages, your outreach messages, as you just saw, have the only goal of provoking a response. You don't want to sell them anything in your outreach messages. You don't want to close them on a call. You don't want to pitch anything. All you want to do in the first message is get them to respond. Ask them a question. That's usually something that works best. And once they responded, you can twist the conversation with AI to go into whatever direction you want to. My business partner, Sada, actually just made a video with a custom GPT, which creates outreach messages for you. It should be going live right around now when I'm filming this video. So I'm going to link it somewhere here on screen as well. The alternative for all of this is, of course, if you want to get this done for you, we have two solutions for this. If you want to automate just the outreach part, we have a managed outreach application currently live where our team handles everything on the Ottawa GDM side for you and automates finding your ideal lead, your ideal target audience, and making sure that those 50 DMs go out every single day like clockwork. And alternatively, if you want to work with us to get this entire solution set up, we also set up AI influencers on your behalf, which then reach out to people and close. You can go ahead and go to omnifusion.ai to find out more there. And now the fun part of it all is scaling. Now, if you want to end up scaling, we have agency plans at Ottawa GDM, which means you can have multiple seats and multiple accounts running, or you can get the managed solution where we scale this into however many accounts you want. We have clients with five accounts, 10 accounts, and we're looking to expand this client base and the amount of accounts that we manage by a ton in the coming weeks and months. Now, really, when it comes to Instagram outreach and these AI influencers, all you can do is scale horizontally. You can't go over those 50 DMs per day, but you can go 50 DMs a day with a lot of accounts. So that is how you can scale this. It's a horizontal scaling approach. And something that you should always do during scaling is split testing your outreach messages because the reply rate that you get for your outreach message is going to determine the success of your campaign. So if you have a low reply rate, go ahead and split test that and make sure that you get those numbers up. And that is how you can set up your own AI influencer, which runs around all day long, messages your ideal target audience on Instagram and books calls for you on autopilot. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get access to all the resources that I showed you in this video, go ahead and visit our school community at school.com slash Omnifusion. It's entirely free. And if you want to work with us, go ahead and visit Omnifusion.ai. And we look forward to hearing from you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.